One extremely useful aspect of pivot tables in Excel 2013 is the way that they let you summarize your data. In this movie, I will show you how to work with subtotals and grand totals inside the body of a pivot table. I will use the totals sample workbook, which you can find in the chapter two folder of your exercise files archive. Let's take a quick look at the contents of this pivot table. As you can see, there is regional customer data, the number of customers acquired for four regions, east, north, south, and west in alphabetical order. And it's also broken out by year and by quarter for the years 2012 and 2013. Most relevant is the fact that we have subtotals for the year 2012 here for east and also for a grand total for that year of 2012. In other words, if we look at the sum of all customers acquired in these four rows here, we can see that the total is 7,872. And we have a similar arrangement for the year 2013 at the bottom. And we can also see grand totals for each of the regions. You can see that down here. So we have a grand total for customers from the east, north, south, and west. And of course, a grand total of all customers acquired for the years 2012 and 2013. When you create a pivot table, this is the default way that subtotals and grand totals appear, but you can control how they appear inside your pivot table. To do that, click the Design tab on the ribbon, and you must have clicked a cell inside of the pivot table to have access to the Analyze and Design tabs on the ribbon. With that selection in place, you can go over to the Layout group on the Design tab, and you can use the subtotals and grand totals controls to affect your pivot table. For example, let's change how subtotals work. To do that, I'll click the subtotals button, and I have three selections. Don't show subtotals, show them at the bottom of the group, or show them at the top of the group. As the pivot table is currently configured, we're showing subtotals at the top of the group. I personally prefer to have subtotals at the bottom. So I'll make that choice now, and you can see now that I have a year 2012, and then my subtotal for 2012 is at the bottom. This arrangement moves as I said, the subtotal to the bottom, and it also gives you a blank line here, or at least an empty line, instead of containing data. It provides a little bit more space, and I tend to read from top to bottom, so I prefer to see my subtotals at the bottom of a group as opposed to the top. It's an individual preference, so just pick whatever works best for you. But just to give you an idea of what a pivot table looks like if you turn off subtotals entirely, I'll click the subtotals button, and click do not show subtotals. When you do, the subtotals go away. And also notice that you still have this blank line here at the top, so you have a little bit of space between your labels and the data. You can also turn grand totals on or off. To do that, click the grand totals button, again in the layout group. And you have four different options. And basically, you're turning grand totals off or on for rows and columns. And there are four combinations of how you can do that for rows and columns on and off. And those options appear here under grand totals. So let's say that I want to turn all grand totals off. To do that, I'll click off for rows and columns. Just click back in the body of the pivot table to get my controls back. And if I want to have grand totals for both rows and columns, I'll click grand totals and click on for rows and columns. So we're back to seeing our summary by quarter and also by region. But notice that we don't have our subtotals for the years 2012 or 2013. So that means we don't have a grand total for an individual year. So if I were to turn subtotals back on and have them appear at the top of the group, then we get the subtotals for each of the regions for a year, and we also get the grand total for each year. So as with everything regarding a pivot table, take the time to configure it, change it the way that you want, and don't be afraid to experiment. Keep working until you find exactly the layout that works for you.